Hi, I'm Chelsea Fields here at Burpee's Fort Hook Farm, bringing you our second video in our series of tomato diseases and problems. In the first video, we covered septoria, early blight, and blossom end rot. In this installment, we'll cover bacterial speck and spot, fruit cracking, and stink bug damage. First, I'm going to talk about bacterial speck and bacterial spot. You can identify these by these little black lesions on your leaf. They often have sunken patterns in the center of the lesions. Although they look exactly the same, the difference between bacterial speck and bacterial spot is the environment that they thrive in. Bacterial spot develops when the temperatures are warm and the weather's humid. Bacterial speck develops when it's cool and the mornings are dewy and wet. If you know that your area is prone to either of these bacteria, then you can go ahead and spray a preventative copper spray when your fruits are about a third of their mature size. Once you see evidence of the bacteria on the leaves, you really have two options. If you still have other unaffected tomato plants in the garden, I recommend removing the entire afflicted plant so that the bacteria doesn't spread to those also. Your only other option is to live with the bacteria. It will continue to defoliate your plant, but in the meantime, your plant will continue to set fruit. And don't worry, your fruit is still tasty, it's still gonna reach its maximum size, you'll just get a little less at the end of the season. At the end of the season, it's critical to remove all of the infected plants so that none of the bacteria can overwinter in your garden soil. To help this along, you also wanna make sure that you crop rotate and don't plant tomatoes in the same place next year. Tomato fruit cracking is an issue that I hear about all the time from burpee gardeners. People are concerned that it's a disease or a bacteria afflicting their fruit, but in actuality, it's just a combination of heat and uneven watering. When you're in the height of the growing season and it's really hot out and you're getting these heavy, drenching rains, your tomato wants to expand quicker than the skin can keep up with, and that causes your fruit cracking. If it's a fresh crack that you see, you're safe to just go ahead, harvest the fruit, wash it off, and eat it as usual. If it's an older crack like this and it's healed over, you'll just want to go ahead and cut off the afflicted region and again, eat the tomato. The only thing that you can really do to reduce the amount of fruit cracking that you see is to stick to an even watering schedule and keep your plants and your fruit from drying out. Next up, I'm going to cover a common pest problem, stink bugs. These pesky insects don't do much to harm your plants or even the fruit, but they do create these unsightly blemishes. They do this by landing on the green fruit and much like a mosquito, taking a small sampling from the fruit's flesh. As the fruits mature and turn red, these small samplings or wounds show up as light spots on your red tomatoes. These spots are completely harmless and most people don't even realize what they are. Your fruit is totally fine to eat. The best way to keep stink bugs off of your tomatoes is by getting rid of their host plants, which means keeping a weed-free garden. By following the simple steps that I've outlined here today, you can keep your tomato plants healthy and harvesting all season long. Happy gardening!